Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, December 9th, 2011. Busy news day. Sharp words were exchanged, as seems to be usual now, between French President Sarkozy, uh, Chancellor Merkel from Germany, uh, with David Cameron, the UK uh, Prime Minister. But the EU said this morning that 26 of its 27 member countries are now open to joining a new treaty tying their finances together to solve the euro crisis. The new treaty will have much stronger control over national budgets. There's one country that's standing out, and that of course is Britain. Uh, so uh, Prime Minister Cameron returns to London. I think he's there already. He's going to be able to go back and tell the uh, House of Commons that he stood for the British principles, and in fact now the British sterling and the British uh, issues are going to remain outside of the EU remit. Well, the uh, all-time winners coming in so far, at least anyway, with the Thai floods is Tokyo Marine. They're estimating that they've incurred net claims of $1.3 billion from the recent Thailand floods. About half of those claims, about $650 million, are placed through the Tokyo Marine Kiln Syndicate at Lloyd's. That would be Syndicate 1880. Actually, it's up to about $700 million. That's the estimate of the syndicate's claims. Um, it's fully capitalized by Tokyo Marine. Uh, there's no fear of a uh, claim being made onto the central fund, but this is the biggest one yet. Toyota said this morning that the Thai floods are going to sharply reduce their earnings for this fiscal year. They had been estimating a profit of $4.9 billion. That's now down to $2.3 billion. It's a big drop. Uh, they've ended up with a loss of 230,000 vehicles that they did not produce. This business interruption continues to make waves in the industry. Here's a typical business supply chain. Um, as you can see, if one part misses or is gone, the whole thing pretty much collapses. Uh, Standard & Poor's is now saying that Southeast Asia is no longer a market that they consider to be low catastrophe prone. Uh, Munich Re says the Thailand floods are another wake-up call. Relevant manufacturers would be well advised to tackle the issue now. Munich Re is requesting more information on its customer supply chain, especially the semiconductor and car industries. Munich Re said that if after 18 months there is no full transparency, we will limit or even exclude the coverage under reinsurance treaties. The scope of the coverage will certainly shrink. Aon estimates that uh, this market is up to as much as $12 billion so far as uh, annual premium. Here's interesting news. A deal between Omega Syndicates and Haverford Chairman Mark Byrne has apparently become less likely. Why do you say? Has there been a change in the negotiations? No. Mr. Byrne has gone on a holiday vacation two weeks before Christmas. This is according to the Insurance Insider. Now, I happen to know that Mr. Byrne has at least two cellular telephones. He also has access whenever he needs it to a Challenger 5000 twin-engine jet that flies faster than the speed of sound. I wouldn't worry because Mr. Byrne is on vacation. If the deal is going south, it's because of a problem with the negotiations. That Texas wildfire uh, back in September in Bastrop, Texas, is going to produce about $325 million in claims. It's up $75 million from the previous estimate. Here's a horrible story. A medical staff at a hospital in Kolkata, India, took off in the midst of a fire. Ninety people died. They were patients. The six hospital officials were arrested at home by the police later on charges of culpable homicide. You ever wonder how insurance companies can keep up those variable annuity guarantees? Here's one reason. MetLife announced that an uh, interest rate hedging program they began in 2004 is going to result in a $500 million pre-tax income payment this year. Yesterday, uh, President Assad of Syria claimed to have no control over the security forces, no control over the army, no control over the government, no control over Syria. He said that someone else is in charge. This was in an interview with Barbara Walters of ABC News. Well, that someone else uh, yesterday fired on thousands of protesters in the rest of central city of Homs, killing 29 people. Today, two more were killed. They were children. We know who that someone else is, and here he is, President Assad himself. That's the news for today. Have a good weekend. If we have breaking news, we'll come back to it.